Water is one of our most valuable natural resources, so using water responsibly is very important. Sometimes we don't need to water 3,000 square feet, but we want to water just a more limited range. Maybe we need a triangle pattern, square pattern, rectangle pattern, cone pattern, who knows. I love using the DRAM turret sprinkler. This has nine different settings. So whatever application you have, if it's just that new corner of cabbage you just planted, this is the sprinkler for you. This is also a super fun sprinkler for summer fun for the kids. If you want to put it in the backyard, give them something to play with. So I love the versatility of that. It's fun, comes in these wonderful colors, and is perhaps the most versatile sprinkler for any application. The Ringbird easy to install automatic sprinkler system includes six professional grade rotary sprinklers, an automatic timer for seven day scheduling, plus all tubing and connecting parts. For this installation, you'll need a flat blade shovel or half moon edger, measuring tape, garden shears or tubing cutter, and two AA batteries. Before you plan your sprinkler spacing, you'll first need to check your home's water flow rate time how long it takes to fill a five gallon pail. Then determine the faucet's gallons per minute using the following formula. Refer to this table to help determine sprinkler spacing and maximum coverage area for your specific irrigation layout. For easier installation, uncoil the tubing and let it warm in the sun for a few hours. This system can be installed in different ways depending on the contour and shape of your lawn or garden. For proper water flow to every sprinkler, no more than three sprinkler heads should be installed on a single length of distribution tubing. Each sprinkler should be located so that its watering throw distance reaches the next sprinkler to obtain the most even coverage of your watering area. This head-to-head -head coverage is important to assure that all areas receive an even amount of water. First, make a quick sketch of your yard. Note any obstacles you'll need to work around and mark the intended location of each sprinkler head. Refer to the printed installation guide included in the box for blank graph paper and sample drawings. Next, measure the distance between each sprinkler head and mark their locations with plastic stakes. Install two AA batteries and connect the timer to the faucet. Attach the tubing adapter to the pressure regulator. Next, connect the faucet connection components to the timer. Insert the tubing over the barbed end of the adapter and tighten the adapter securely. Next, attach a half inch barbed tee to the tubing. Connect two sections of distribution tubing to the tee and run the tubing to each of the plastic stakes following your diagram. Cut the tubing at each sprinkler head location and insert a threaded tee. Apply nylon tape to the one half inch threaded fitting on top of each tee and connect the sprinklers. Assemble the drain assembly and attach to the end of the line. To test the watering coverage, temporarily cable tie the sprinkler heads to the plastic stakes. Next, press the water now button on the timer and observe the sprinkler throw distance and pattern. Turn the center cap to the left to match the fixed left edge of your watering area. 
Next, use the rotor adjustment tool to adjust the pattern from 40 to 360 degrees. You can also use the rotor adjustment tool to adjust the spray distance. Another way to increase the sprinkler throw distance is by changing the nozzles. To change the nozzles, first lift the rotor shaft using the rotor adjustment tool. While holding the shaft, turn the distance screw to the left to release the nozzle. Remove the nozzle by prying with a screwdriver or needle nose pliers. Insert the new nozzle and tighten the distance screw. Use a flat blade shovel or a half moon edger to create a small trench alongside the tubing. The tubing and sprinklers must be deep enough so that the sprinklers are flush with the ground once installed. Push the tubing into the ground and pack the dirt around the sprinklers for a neat appearance. Turn on the system and verify that all sprinklers are in full popped up position and that the streams are even, not spitting or misting. Make any final adjustments as needed. Turn the dial to set clock. Press the up and down arrows and press OK to adjust the time. Press the up and down arrows and press OK to adjust the day of the week. Turn the dial to set start time. Press the up and down arrows and press OK to set the start time. Decide whether you want to add a second start time. Turn the dial to set duration. Press the up and down arrows and press OK to set the watering duration in minutes. Turn the dial to set run days. Press the up and down arrows and press OK to select the specific watering days. Turn the dial to auto when all settings are complete. When watering, the timer displays the time remaining on the current cycle. Turn the dial to off to power off the timer completely. To water manually, turn the dial to auto and press the water now button. To stop watering at any time, press the cancel watering button. Press the cancel watering button repeatedly to set a specific delay up to 96 hours and press OK. That's all there is to it. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy your new sprinkler system from Rainbird.